What's up guys, Zach Van doing another video update. Uh, welcome back for another week. Hopefully everybody had a good weekend. Uh, there was a couple positive things over the weekend that happened, uh, which we'll get into here in a little bit, and there's some not so much positive, and one of them is obviously Tron. Um, kind of in the negative still, we kind of hit some support. We kind of stayed above it, but then we broke through it again, which is unfortunate because Bitcoin is up, but uh, as you can kind of see, we're probably going to head down to right around 600 Satoshis. Um, which is unfortunate, just considering um, how the Bitcoin is actually uh, in the green today, which we'll get into here in that little bit. But as of right now, we kind of, like I said, we hit a, a, a lower low and a lower high right here. So uh, not very positive as far as that goes. We go to the 60-minute chart here. Uh, like I said, we have a high here and then a lower high there, followed by a lower low from uh, right here. So uh, definitely... Definitely not very positive stuff. Um, hopefully, we can find some support somewhere, um, get some uh, better news, which we'll touch on that here a little bit too. Some things that are happening with Tron right now, which is actually pretty positive. So, hopefully, that has a little bit of an influence on it. But if we look at Bitcoin over the weekend, like I said, we had a one hell of a rally uh, right here. Let's go to the measurement to see how big of a move that was. So, had about a nine. Well, let's just say 10, 10% gain um, over the weekend, which is kind of nice. Definitely nice to see that happening. We definitely broke through some resistance right here, um, followed by uh, some more resistance right here. If we look at the, we'll go to the 24 hour chart here. You can kind of see how we're in this little wedge right here now. So we kind of shot up. Uh, if we can break this wedge of resistance and then we can probably hit uh, about maybe 45 4600 uh, would be nice but then obviously we're going to see another down trend as well but um i'd say every time it gets close to like 31 32 is a good time to accumulate but i can see we're definitely gonna have a bull run uh coming here uh again um with making major resistance uh around four and then around probably 4500 4600 would be the next uh major resistance for bitcoin um just given the way the chart's kind of set up here but if we can break through all that, obviously the next milestone would probably be 6,000 So, uh, for resistance anyways to try to break through that. But we do have some good support down here at about uh, 3,200. So look for that to hold on to hopefully. Um, like I said, positive news for Bitcoin. Um, look at some of the news from Tron. Uh, Tron releases more information for their upcoming crypto card, which is called the GRID. Uh, so basically, uh, it will be live today, February 18th at 8 p.m. Uh, the Grid Crypto Card has been announced as a prepaid card which can be loaded with Tron TRX in three amounts, 15,000, 50,000, and 100,000. Uh, the BitTorrent tokens will be awarded in varying amounts to owner, owners of the card who will also be rewarded with monthly airdrops of BTT. So it's designed as a single-use card, meaning that it cannot be reloaded with TRX after it is purchased, even though owners will be rewarded with airdrops on a monthly basis. The total amount of uh, BitTorrent received will drop as TRX is spent without an ability for the owner of the card to increase the amount of TRX on a single card. So it's only like a one-time use type card, basically. You just purchase whatever amount, and then you just use it until you're done. So um, the, the charts are, uh, like I said, TRX per card is 15,000, 50,000, 100. If you want BTT on the card, it's 15, 6,000, and 13,000. And that kind of shows you the airdrop um, per TRX that you would get for the X amount that you have. So uh, that's pretty cool. Um, like I said, I don't know how much use is gonna get out of it, but uh, this right here is information. So basically more regarding the security um, part of this, uh, if TRX and BTT are able to successfully use as a currency within a, a daily transaction at brick and mortar business, it will showcase the ability for cryptocurrencies to be used as real currencies. This might lessen the chances of the SEC filing actions against TRX and BTT. Much of this, however, might depend upon whether or not the SEC formally classifies KIN as a security. So this kind of goes back to the whole, you know, Tron not being a security and all that stuff. Uh, if the SEC upholds the... Um, uh, where am I here? Uh, okay, okay. If the SEC upholds the distinction between currencies and uh, security and the Tron card or grid is successfully used over a uh, sim uh, sufficient period of time, the Tron Foundation may be free from the scrutiny of the SEC. 
Of course, all of this is uh, speculative uh, and based upon a series of events that have yet to unfold. So that just kind of um, gets the sec off their ass a little bit, basically, if everything goes smoothly. Uh, sorry, I got a cold coming on, so my throat's always dry. So <clears throat> I take a drink every now and then. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Another thing is uh, the Crypto Visa card. Another card that's kind of happening right now is um, supports Ripple, Tron, and more. But mo most impo importantly, it's going to support Tron as well. So Spend Now supports up to or supports 180 countries, and from now on, it's also available in the U.S. as well. So the card is called. Let's see, where did they? There was a name for it. Where did it go? Oh, Spend. There we go. So Spend. So that's another card that uh, you can use to upload, uh, you know, XRP, Tron, EOS, Binance Coin, Dash, Bitcoin Cash, and Litecoin. So uh, I thought that was pretty cool as well. So uh, the company pulled it from the Google Play Store last Friday due to more performance issues. They plan to create the most. At, or at, oh, okay, at the moment, the Spend app is only available on iOS, but it will be also available. Okay, okay. so it's only on iOS or iPhones, uh, but eventually it will be on Android. So. Uh, that's pretty cool, I think, as well. So that should help, uh, you know, again, create the value so that people start using it and then you have to buy it. So hopefully this will kind of help bring up uh, the price of uh, yeah, pretty much all the crypto, especially like Tron. Uh, so, yeah, it's pretty positive stuff right there. So now I'm going to get into, uh, that's all I have for Tron and TRX, but I'm going to get into um, the crypto trading that I've been doing. So if you guys don't want to listen to this crap, uh, then that's all I have for Tron right now. But if you want to, listen to what I'm talking about about as far as uh, swing trading and all that kind of stuff something that I've been starting to learn and starting to do myself um, go to my Excel spreadsheet so we can kind of see where we're at so I think the last video that I posted I was in hot or holo um, that I got into which was uh, on February 12th so on February 15th I bought into uh, mod or I can't oh, I don't remember the date, actual name of the coin what it does but anyways so I got in $126 at 609 so let's go look at the and then I cashed out at uh, 66 um, 660 actually so then uh, which uh, gave me $148 which gave me a 70% gain it took about three days to get there and again my goal is only 1% but um, that's kind of rat so ever since I started this on February 4th uh, up until now, I'm up 43%, which is pretty positive. But again, I'm not going to hold my breath. You know, I'm not some guru. I mean, obviously, I could probably lose all this in one day, which I was kind of nervous over the weekend, which I'm going to explain why. Right here, I will explain. So if we take a look, I'll get a paintbrush. So I got in right over here at 609, which it was. So I got in right in that area. 609 and then this happened over the weekend and I was like man I shouldn't have done that I made a horrible decision um, I didn't really follow the chart very well um, I was just kind of impulse decision which is a horrible thing to do but then today obviously as you can see the whole rally from everything I got out at 660 which was my originally target when I put it in here that was my target at 660 so uh, luckily, we spiked up. I mean, it went all the way up to, you know, 739, which uh, was pretty crazy. But uh, so I'm kind of nervous now. So I'm going to kind of lay low. I, I'm, I've been watching one uh, right now, Fuel, I believe it is. This is the one I'm kind of watching right now. It's kind of setting up just right to where I want it to be. Actually, we can look at that right now. If I go to Binance. Sorry, my computer slow. I got so much crap going on. If I leave, I'm gonna leave. So if we go to Binance, <coughs> click on the exchange, advance. Sorry, I should have this already, but I, too much stuff is going on, so it's taking forever to load. Especially with PowerPoint and Excel going, it's like okay, I already got fuel on here. All right, perfect. So let's just uh. You just zoom in on this. <clears throat> so yeah, um, as you kind of see, like I said, I'm, I'm, I want to get on a few. Looks the charts looking really nice, anyways. And as you can kind of see, I kind of want. I well, earlier I wanted to get in down here, which if I got in, I could have probably had a one percent 
car ready, but I'm just kind of waiting for uh, the RSI to kind of shoot up above 20. And of course the MACD for the blue to cross right here. And then hopefully uh, the moving average is kind of cross as well. So as soon as this blue line crosses and this hits up above 20, um, I'm probably going to enter a trade just depending on, hopefully it doesn't get out of the, the band here because it did hit the band right here. But if it goes above the band, then I probably won't. But I'm just going to kind of keep an eye on fuel. That's kind of my next one that I want to get into just depending on how the chart sets up. So, um, yeah, so that's what I got for you guys today. Like I said, I'm, I'm still new to this whole trading cryptos and stuff like that. Um, so far, I think I'm doing pretty good, but I'm not no guru or financial advisor. So don't uh, follow me or take my word for what I'm doing because I'm pretty much this might be luck. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I'm kind of doing it all right. I don't know, but I should have had a stop loss set for my loss for this one. But if I did, then I would have had a loss and I would have got a 17% gain. So I uh, got lucky on that one, but I think I'm going to learn a little bit from my mistake there not to get into a trade until I get some things confirmed for sure, but I'm just kind of in the moment, got a little emotional, which is something you should not do. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.